we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lag and this is arc ascended and you probably guessed from that intro looking at the background what we're doing today we have got the mammoth army and boy are they ready to go look at all these guys i think i had 19 of these guys ready to go but i actually could not fit them all on the platform uh, i think i have 17 total and that is including lieutenant fluff over here uh who will be giving them the courage roar to give them an attack buff during the fight do need to grab something off you if you don't mind let's see here oh yeah i need all of my warm gear because apparently this boss fight is really really cold but because i have an otter and because my fortitude is so high if i do get freeze damage during the fight my health should trickle down really slowly because of those things i just mentioned not sure i'm gonna take any freeze damage at all because i also have a soup that'll keep me nice and warm during the fight i think i'm ready just trying to think if i've got everything i need i've got medical brew on the hot bar i've got my first stuff i've got my otter got a shotgun just in case i got all my mammoths i got some soup um i've got the artifacts that's probably good yeah i think i have everything so this boss We'll have a couple of different attacks. It's gonna call in some Bigfoot to help it fight. And it also has this giant boulder it can throw, which does huge knockback and huge damage. But don't worry about these mammoths. They are well equipped to handle it. So I think we should hop in and destroy a giant monkey. We're gonna throw in the artifacts right now. That's the Devourer. There's the Brute and the one we got in the last episode, the Pack. As soon as I double click this, we're going in. So wish me luck. We're going in. I think I want to stand next to my uh, Uteranus here. Hopefully it puts me right next to it once we get into the arena. Bye, Ark. Okay, we're in here. Uh, yeah, right next to my Uteranus, which is what I wanted. Let me go into my inventory really quickly and just eat one of these soups. Uh, I'm gonna whistle passive just for a second. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, I'm get out of here. All right, this bridge is pretty tricky, by the way. The boss is over there. I can see his health bar, and he doesn't know we're here yet, so I have a couple seconds to set all this up. I'm pretty sure there's an invisible barrier here. Yes, there is, so that's good. That's what we want. You know what? I think they're positioned perfectly. I'm just gonna leave him there for a second, and I'll whistle aggressive, but I'm gonna go over here and get the boss and have him come to us. If we try to cross this bridge right here, accidents will happen, mammoths will fall off of it. But over here, we're kind of protected by these invisible barriers, and, uh, I don't think they're gonna get knocked off way over there. So yeah, let me go get the boss and bring him to us. I'll just come over here and take a little peek, see if we can get his attention. Then we're gonna have to turn around really quick and run back for our guys. Oh God, I think I got its attention. Now I just need to run because he is right on my butt. And I'll whistle aggressive right when I get around the other side of my mammoths here. Quickly, 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 and whistle aggressive. Okay, aggressive. Is that aggressive? I whistled something. I hope that was aggressive. Yep, there they go. Okay. Go get them, boys. Go get them, boys. What are you doing back here? You're not doing anything. All right, some of them are stuck on each other. That's not good. Come on, guys, get them. Get him. Uh, a lot of these guys seem to be doing nothing. This is not what I envisioned happening today. Jump, get over there and fight. Mammoths are a little tricky. They've got gigantic hitboxes. I have one mammoth that is just holding up the show. What are y'all doing up here? Look at this one mammoth not doing anything. There's like two or three of them. They're just standing there. Do something. You're blocking up all the other ones. Oh, man. I have half the mind to get off and try to move him, but I think I'll get killed if I do that because these, these four can't get around. I mean, either way, they're killing him, so it doesn't matter. He's already half dead. With just like three or four mammoths hitting him. I just can't surround him like I want him to. Mammoths might have been the wrong choice. They're kind of big and clunky. Uh-oh, watch out the boulder. Watch out for the boulder, boys. Yeah, I haven't taken a single bit of frost damage yet either, which is nice. Woo, watch that boulder. Well, it looks like all we needed was about four or five mammoths, <laughs> which is crazy. They do have 70,000 health and about 800% melee damage on most of them. Got them down to about 25% health, getting absolutely destroyed. Doesn't matter how many Bigfoots he calls in or how many boulders he throws, there is no escaping the mammoth army. Your destruction is inevitable. 
Resistance is futile. Soon you will die. This one mammoth. This one ma- Oh, good. One got around. There we go. Now that the fight's almost over, we got another mammoth to get around to the right side of him. Getting some extra damage in now. Here we go. It's only a matter of seconds before he's dead now. Say goodnight, sweetheart. Your reign of terror is over. <laughs> awesome. Well, that went really not well, but also really well at the same time. It's kind of a mixed bag there. Yeah, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Thanks for throwing that up in the middle of the screen. Get it off the screen. All right. One giant mega pithecus. Pith oh, eat him. Yes. Eat him. Biscuit's hungry for a giant ape. There you go. Eat him. Eat him. Keep eating him. Doing good, Biscuit. We should really talk about your diet sometime, Biscuit. This is disgusting. We do have a supply crate over here. Open it up, and we got the head of the Mega Pithecus. And we also got some elements. Plus, we got the flag that's in our inventory. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Just like that, we're back. Uh, I'm somewhere in this mess. I can't move. Just, okay. This is a disaster. The game is going to crash. I can guarantee it. Okay, hold on, let me just, what is happening? Okay, hold on, there, okay, everything's fine now. Good God, we did it, piece of cake. I know I make these boss fights look really easy and partly that's because we're doing them on Gamma, but the other part is genuinely preparation. Having an army of mammoths like this, if you remember, the first one we uh, tamed was uh, 150, I believe, and the, the female was also really high as well. And then just baby after baby, pumping their stats, waiting and waiting patiently until they all had 70,000 health and 700, 800 melee. It was ridiculous. Well, this one's got 67,000 health and 600 melee. I'm not lying. Wow, they all got a bunch of levels for beating the boss too, which is cool. 73,700. So yeah, really, really strong mammoths. Could have easily killed them on beta and alpha. Wouldn't have mattered. Oh, I've got to cryopod all of these guys back up and get them home. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys back at home. Well, the boss fight might be over, but this episode is not. I went ahead and put all of the mammoths in the cryo fridge, except for this one. This is our strongest mammoth. So go ahead in the comment section, come up with a name for this guy. Also, I believe we have the dismembered head of a giant gorilla to hang up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right above the fabricator, I've got this spot. We'll just throw it in there. Boom. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know that I like that in my house. I wonder if it's gonna smell with its creepy milky eye. Look at that thing. Look at his eye. That is a nightmare gorilla right there. Oh my God. Of course, that's not all. We still have a victory flag to hang. Hey, 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 we got a pool party. Well, that's right. You guys are retired now. You raised that mammoth army from babies and you deserve this. Okay, I don't mind. Biscuit, you want to go for a swim? Enjoy yourself. Now we must hang our victory flag behind the three artifacts. There it is. The gorilla and the brood mother. All that's left now is the dragon. And as you can see, we're gonna have to collect four artifacts to get the dragon to spawn in, each more difficult than the one before to get. These will certainly be a test of my patience. Now, if you watched the last episode, you will know that we found a ceratosaurus on the island across the river here. It was a level 130. We could see it with our telescope from uh, from base here. And it also had a baby with it that was also a level 130. So we're gonna go over there and try out the new Giganoraptor here and see if we can scoop up that baby. And jump, Roadrunner. We'll just float all the way across, not even touching the water. I love that. Now I saw it yesterday, it was right here. It's certainly not dead. I don't think there's anything on this island that's gonna kill a 130 Ceratosaurus. Uh, I'm just gonna have to look around until we find it. It is possible, however, though, that the Ceratosaurus chased something out into the water and is now over on that landmass, or even swam out to get it, and then it would probably get eaten by a Megalodon. But let's hope that didn't happen. We're just gonna keep searching the island. It's bound to be around here somewhere, hopefully. Maybe. The Ceratosaurus are usually really loud. I'm not hearing them anywhere on this island. This is worrying me. Well, lucky for me, I did install that Creature Finder mod, and I told you I wouldn't abuse it. But I lied. It's right here. I found it. I, I found it with the creature finder mod. It's right here. It's lit. I can hear it now. There's no mystery about that. 
And the baby should be with it. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, take it, take it easy now. Nobody asked for all that. All right, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight. Yeah. This is gonna suck. I don't think I'm much of a fighter. I think I'm more of a lover. Okay, I'm bleeding. I'm stomping it with my giant talons. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, mama. What you think of that? I'm gonna eat you. Wait, are you dead? You're still making a lot of noise. Did I knock you unconscious? Hold on a minute. No, it says it's dead. That's how the nervous system of a Ceratosaurus works. Don't worry about it. It's dead. Where you going, little baby Ceratosaurus? Don't you want to find a home? Let me uh, do my little scream here. That should mark the baby for me that I can go up to it. I'm hoping just claim it. Mm, maybe not with the Ceratosaurus. They have a very special way of taming them, but I thought this bird would overwrite that. Maybe not. Oh, got it. Yes, got it. Okay. What I want to do now is put the baby inside of the basket. So let's see, we come up to the bird and we do this and then we go like this and then add baby. Oh, it's not showing it on the wheel, why? We're not close enough, hold on. Add baby, why not? No, huh, interesting. So it's not gonna let me get any of the extra levels I was hoping to get on this guy. That sucks, a 156. Well, it seems like it got the extra levels anyways. Um, it wants care in a minute and 50 seconds, uh, crap. Okay, hold on. I was hoping we could put the baby in the basket and then what happens from there is the baby will request you hunt a specific animal in the area. It'll mark it on your HUD so you can see it. And then you go kill the animal and the baby gets extra levels. It's how you imprint on babies when you're using the Gigantoraptor. Uh, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't let me put this one in the saddle. I think I know why though. It's a level 156 and I'm a level 140. It's gotta be lower level than me. I didn't anticipate that, so that's probably what it was but we can still imprint it on ourselves. Hopefully it wants to go for a walk or a cuddle. If it doesn't want to go for a walk or a cuddle uh, and it's something difficult, I can actually re-roll it uh, using the Gigantoraptor. So that's what I'll be doing. I should probably give it some meat so it doesn't starve to death. Uh, here we go. Throw some in here, my bad. I bet you're a hungry little baby. There you go, eat up, eat up. These things are a lot cuter when they're babies. Look at that big old chubby face. I'm, st I'm stuck inside of his chubby face. Get off of me. Okay, crawl out, crawl out. Okay. One second till it wants special care. What do you want? Want to go for a walk? I can do that. Come on, let's go. Come on, little guy. Let's go for a walk. This is what you wanted. There you go, imprinting. All right, so three imprints needed for 100% imprinted. Okay. Wants care in two minutes. Well, we just got an imprint off, so I don't actually don't know what its starting health was, but it's probably somewhere like 4,500. But it's up to 5,100 now with that imprint and 350% melee damage with 1,800 stamina. That seems really good. I wonder if it'll follow me across the river. We can get back home or I have some other stuff. Hopefully a shark doesn't try to eat it on its way across. Just in case it wants like some kibble or some jerky to eat. At least we'll be over here where all that stuff is. Come on, baby Ceratosaurus, you can do it. Swim. Swim. I think there's a dolphin behind you. Don't worry about that. That's a shark though. You should probably get out of the water now. Get out of the water, come on. That was close. You made it though. You made it. Good job, little baby. All right, come on, this way. You're getting so big. Got uh, special care needed in 15 seconds. Yeah, look at you. You're kind of like a uh, Carno, but way cooler looking. You'll probably be about the size of a Carno as well when you're fully matured. Maybe a little bit less tall. Look at that tail. My God. Wants to cuddle with me. Well, that's an easy one too. Haven't had to re-roll yet. And hopefully I can get this last imprint off. It's gonna want special care in two minutes and 10 seconds, but it's already 74% matured. So I might have wasted too much time getting that first imprint off. I should be able to get this last imprint off so long as it's something easy. Let's see, what do you want? Uh, Hand-fed comp- oh, Alzula berries. I've got some of those. Hold on. Right there. Slot them. Run back out and feed quickly. Yeah, 100% imprinted. Hell yeah. So before we even put any levels on this thing at all, it's a level 156 with 6,000 starting health, 1850 on the, on the uh, stamina, and 408% on the melee. Strong little thing. Woo! 
Okay, I hear you. Let's get you a saddle. Oh god, what's happening? Something's happening. Kill it! Kill it! It's been killed. Whatever it was is dead. <laughs> I'm sure of that. We're gonna need some metals, some hide, and some fiber. And that should make the Ceratosaurus saddle. What do you do? This is its run speed. Looks like it gets faster as you go. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does. We're going now. Oh, you can break rocks with it. Wow. Okay, did you collect those rocks though? That is the question. You did not, okay? So it definitely has like a ramming speed. It can break through rocks and I'm assuming trees with no problem. Can it kill a dinosaur by just running through it? Oh my God, mock, mock speed. We're going too fast. I just went through a boulder. I went through that entire boulder. Wow, this thing's fast. Doesn't do anything with space bar. Left click is a bite and he whips around too really quickly. Wow, okay, so yeah, nothing's gonna attack you from behind. Right click. Ooh, tail whip. Very cool. And C, does C do anything? No, C does not do anything. Kinda curious to know what this tail whip is like. Oh, that wasn't the tail whip at all. I just headbutt it to death. What was that? It was weird, it did a headbutt when I hit that button. Uh, but it also does a tail whip with the same button. I guess it depends on how far away you are from the target. Let's see here. Oh, it's a headbutt again. Okay, I've done something to you. Sorry about that, you're glowing red now. There's a plus 50 that showed up. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. I don't understand the tail whip because I try to do it to an animal, but it just headbutts it. See, look, you tried to headbutt it. Oh, there's the tail whip, got it. Okay, sorry, sorry, Dodo. It's for science, we're trying to figure this guy out. Kind of runs sideways, doesn't he? It's like a little sideways run. Can you run through the water? No, instantly stop in the water. Man, I love how he's crashing all these boulders though. That's crazy. Yo, them. Good job. Good job, eat it. Okay, yeah, it's just a cool little powerhouse uh, that goes really fast and runs through things. And uh, I think maybe does a bleed damage. I'm not really sure what it's doing when it bites and puts that red glow on stuff. Maybe someone in the comment section will be able to tell me. But I have seen enough to give you a name. Little Zilla. It's like a Godzilla, the way he's knocking over buildings and stuff, except they're boulders that he knocks over. But he's little. But he is still a lizard. So little Zilla it is. Oh my God, I am so happy I just saw that little frog there. That's one of our next tames we're gonna get to go into a cave later on. That's a low level, we don't want that one, but we're definitely getting a frog soon. There is one artifact we're gonna have to collect in a cave that I think the frog excels in, so we'll definitely be getting a frog. Wee! Slow down, slow down. You're going too fast. Erk. Nice, I like you, you're cool. You can hang out here with Shreks. Maybe he'll teach you a few things, all right? Well, welcome to the family, little Zilla. I'm really glad we found one in the wild as a baby. That was a good level because the actual taming method involves making you a cocktail, feeding it to your dinosaur, and then letting the Ceratosaurus bite your dinosaur and getting drunk off that cocktail. And then it becomes a passive tame and you have to follow it around and hand feed it stuff. So this was much easier, let me tell you. But I really wanted to highlight what this girl could do. So I'm just gonna find a baby of any kind and hopefully it works this time. Let's see, we've got a baby over here. I just gotta make sure it is the same level or lower than Roadrunner. Roadrunner is currently a level 143. Let's see if we can find another baby. That one's like down there in the water, I think. See any other babies around? Oh yeah, there's plenty of babies around. Let's go get a baby something. I don't know what this is gonna be. Let's just go check it out. Oh, it's a little uh, baby trike. I'll help, I'll help. I'm gonna stomp you. I'm gonna stomp you, mama. Oh, we got a dad. All right, killed one. Oh, this one's a 95. I wonder which one the baby belonged to. Probably the level 20. I gotta kill this 95. Stop it. The baby's escaping. It wasn't even your baby. What are you so mad about? It was none of your business. Stay out of my business. Forever. Now, where did that baby go? We could find it pretty easily. There we go. This should be... Oh, you, do you have a friend? Oh, there's two of yous. Uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. Level five is not the one. Level f They're both level fives. Wait, where'd the, where'd the other baby go? Maybe this is it over here? What is this? Yeah, there you are, still running away. Come here, gotcha. 
Okay, you're a level 24. So you sh this should work this time, okay? And then we put him in just like that. Now the baby's in there. And it says juvenile Triceratops wants to start hunting nearby creature. I should f see an icon on the screen somewhere. I don't see the icon on the screen. Oh, there it is. There's a little red icon right in front of me. It wants to hunt whatever this is. So I will kill it. And there we go. And it says uh, the Triceratops has finished bonding with the uh, Gigantoraptor. I don't know what that means. I also have no idea what the 5 out of 25 means. Does that mean we can get an extra 25 levels on this little guy? Yeah, I actually have no idea how this works. But I have a trike and a basket that is now bonded with me. And there's green mist coming off of me. There's something called parental pride right here. I get an 8% damage increase and 4% experience increase on the Gigantoraptor. Um, I'm interested to know what the trikes got. The trike should have some extra bonuses as well since it bonded with the Gigantoraptor. And those numbers with the heart, four out of 25. It was five out of 25, now it's four. I have no idea what that means. But I do know that basically Roadrunner here is the one that has imprinted on the trike. But the trike will have bonuses uh, which I will show you shortly. Oh God, I pissed off another truck. Oh wait, you fell out. Oh, you're a full adult now. Hold on, let's take a look. So you should have some bonuses about you, right? Let me see your buffs. Yeah, 10% damage resistance. I don't know if this is uh, kind of luck of the draw, if there would be like a 10% damage buff instead of resistance, or if, you know, better oxygen. I have no idea. Or if it's always just 10% damage resistant. But so long as the mom's around, and in this case, that's the Roadrunner, this thing will have that bonus, I believe. If I go too far away, maybe it won't. Uh, but the idea is to create an army, and then I guess you would bring the Roadrunner into the boss fight, and all of the babies that she raised will have that 10% damage buff or damage resistance or whatever it's going to be. I think that's the idea of it. Yeah, you can even see a little icon that was just hovering. I don't see it anymore. And she's still got this green glow about her. And also it says seven out of 25 now. I don't know. No idea, just stay with me. Does it say that you're imprinted? Uh, no, it doesn't. It says 30%, it says imprinting. Oh, we're still doing that, huh? What does little Zilla say under imprint? Oh, it says imprinting 100, so it doesn't mean it's still imprinting. So I guess we only got one imprint off uh, when we did the hunting, but it didn't request me to do any more hunting. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but yeah, it was in printing. There's that icon again, by the way, it keeps popping up. I have, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening with these two, but whatever, we have a trike now. And if I had to guess Roadrunners, it's mom, or at least it thinks it's his mom. It's not your mom, okay? Look at that thing, and then look at you. And now look at it, then look at you. You're confused. And would you look at that? We set out to beat a giant gorilla, and that's exactly what we did with the Mammoth Army. We also got ourselves a brand new Ceratosaurus today and played around with the Gigantoraptor and tried to figure out some stuff, even though it's all nonsense and I don't understand it at all. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I should take a breath. <gasps> Leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.